Untouchables. In this video, I'm going to talk to you about the ends. So tying up those loose ends and making sure to pay attention to the ends of your hair to ensure that you're making or reaching your hair goals. So in the first part, I talked about the scalp and the importance of the new growth and new hair coming from the scalp. But in this video, I want to talk to you and show you some visuals that I like to think of in terms of the ends. So as I said in that video, your hair is dead. And because of that, um, and as you've probably heard a lot of other natural hair or just hair gurus share with you, split ends and damaged to your ends are for the most part very difficult to repair. Other than protein treatment and trying to do deep conditioning treatment, it's very difficult to restore um, the hair shaft to its uh, best state once damage, heat damage, or you've broken it down due to chemicals or overprocessing. So it's important to preserve your hair because it's dead. Your main goal or your main um, objective is to preserve. So what do I mean by that? Your hair, especially curly hair as it grows from the scalp, is no longer close to or able to receive the natural oils that your scalp produces once it grows down. So this hair has moved away from the scalp maybe five or six years ago and so it's not close to the scalp to be able to benefit from or get the natural oils and the natural lubrication that the scalp provides. So I'm having to moisturize it myself which means applying you know olive oil or coconut oil, jojoba oil, whatever your moisturizing um, ingredient or product of choice is but you're having to restore the moisture to your hair in order to preserve it so that it does not become dry and brittle and prone to breakage. Also the reason why we love a lot of times protective styles is this hair is just prone to a lot of friction whether it's getting caught in your um, zippers on your coat or just rubbing up against things that remove the moisture from it, rubbing up against, you know I do not like cotton pillowcases, cotton anything, you need a satin bonnet or a satin pillowcase, but rubbing up against moisture um, products or fabrics that deplete or remove the moisture from the hair is another way to dry out the hair and make it brittle. And just regular wear and tear. So if your hair length goal is a length that's going to require six, six to eight years of growing, let's just say, you've got to preserve that hair as well as maintain and foster new growth. So a way that I like to think of that as is I made this little display that I like to show people, <laughs> which is from two socks. And I hope that my camera is quality enough to pick up yeah, I think it is. Okay, so this is a newer black sock and this is an older black sock that I've had for probably over five or six years. And so what I do is I tie them together to demonstrate a hair strand. So you can imagine if this is closest to your scalp, this is your new growth hair or the hair that's most recently grown out of your scalp and this is your old hair. It is important to preserve all of this hair in order to reach your hair length goal. So what's critical and what visually sticks out to me and I think helps people is seeing just the natural wear and tear of wearing the sock around the house, uh, wearing it without shoes on, wearing it in shoes, washing it, maybe I got a little bleach on it, um, you know, it just, the, it's starting to get dingy, it's starting to look old, it doesn't look anywhere near necessarily as healthy or vivacious and vibrant as the newer sock. And so it's important to remember that your hair is the exact same way. As just the regular wear and tear of washing and taking care of it, it's beginning, getting old. And so in order to preserve and get your hair length goals, you've got to keep all of the hair as new and moisturized and preserved as possible. This is also a great demonstration that I like to show to people who are transitioning. If this is your new growth hair that has not been relaxed and is maybe strong and a different texture, and then this is the transition mark where this hair is still relaxed, then this area is a lot of times prone to breakage. And this isn't the best visual because it looks like it's strong and it's held together, but there's a lot of um, potential for the hair to snap in that area or break because this hair is a very different texture from this hair. And this hair perhaps requires a lot more care, a lot more moisture, a lot more um, tender, um, sensitive, touching and working of it with the brushes and combs etc than this hair does. So it's important that you're maintaining these end hairs especially your little you know when you bust a hole in your sock which is probably what this one's on the verge of doing from your big toe or whatever that you preserve the ends of your hair 
and take special care with them. So careful detangling, careful um, applications of oils and things to make sure that they're staying soft and moisturized and as pliable as possible. And even my ends, like I start to get very frustrated and think like, oh, I'll just cut all this off because it doesn't look as healthy or as strong or as nice as the hair up here. And I really want it to all look uniform and healthy. But you do have to understand, um, you know, that, that hair is extremely old and you can cut it off. But at the same time, you're going to have to wait for all of the hair to regrow back down, if that makes sense. And a lot of times when you go to the stylist, they're wanting to cut off a lot of the hair at the end because it gives the appearance of thicker, fuller, healthier hair to cut the hair up off higher up. And I'll show you in my next visual, if you're cutting at a rate that's faster in which your hair is growing, not only will you not be able to maintain a length, but your hair will get gradually shorter. So you have to think about if my hair is growing, you know, an inch every two months that I can't be cutting more than that or else I won't see any hair growth or I won't see any length retention or be able to get closer to my length goals. But if you look at the ends of my hair, I'll just put it against, hopefully this pink kind of shows, they're arguably, you know, thinner or not as thick and full as the hair up here. So working to preserve and maintain ends really helps in length retention. And then for this video, I'll show you, um, I make, I make jewelry. So I sh like to show this visual and it's in, it's in one of the curly hair books that I showed you. And I apologize, I'll put it in the description box, the name of the author, but she used this visual and I like it as well. And I know firsthand it's easier for me to understand because I make jewelry. But if you have a strand of beads, and this is a bead stopper that um, jewelry makers use so that the beads don't fall off. But if you have a strand of beads, and these I put matte beads, and these I put shiny bigger beads, and this is a strand of hair. If you're cutting off or removing, let's say, you know, four strands of beads per month when you go to the stylist, but only one bead is growing out of the scalp per month, then you're constantly always going to be in a deficit or you're constantly always going to be having what seems like hair loss or a state in which your hair isn't growing when in fact it actually is. So I like to think of this as the, the math of hair, as understanding um, if you're waiting, you know, for this one bead to be added on to the hair strand, you have to also properly maintain all of this other hair in order for you to see progress or in order for you to see this strand of beads become longer and longer and longer and longer all the way, working from all the way at your scalp to all the way growing down, 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 like that. So it takes a lot. It takes a lot to reach your hair goals, especially because our hair is dry, especially because it requires a lot of attention when it comes to detangling. If in the detangling process you're pulling strands out or ripping or breaking strands off at the bottom, it's oftentimes very difficult for your new growth to catch up in that at that same rate. So I just wanted to put a plug in for making sure that you're taking care of the ends of your hair and paying attention to um, tying up those loose ends, wrapping your hair at night, making sure it's moisturized, making sure it's not on cotton or a moisture depleting um, fabric or environment. And I hope this helps. I hope it makes sense. Um, comment, share your advice, share your tips, and I'll see you next time. Bye!